we do have a lot of great opportunities for students, you know, starting with the, the dual enrollment. Um, you know, we have a relationship with Cumberland. Mm -hmm. They come in and teach classes. Uh, and then also our um, advanced placement courses that we offer where students, you know, can set for the test and then earn college credit based on whichever university they go to. You know, that's one of the big things is the earlier a student can plan, you know, where they want to go post high school, the better they can align their early post-secondary opportunities with their plan. You know, like if, if I know that I'm interested in being an electrician, uh, the TCAT has programs and we've got programs here in the school and they can get some uh, base coursework done to move into those kinds of things. You know, uh, we have culinary arts students that mm -hmm. end up going to Sullivan University and they are earning credit here uh, before they ever actually get to, to Sullivan. And they we just had several students in Wilson County win scholarships to there uh, based on a contest. So, yeah, on, on the chili and soup coupon. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, you know, that happened this week. And yeah. it's not just Wilson Central Lebanon as part of that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so there is a lot of great opportunities. And you know, if, if you have any idea which way you want to go post high school, that can help you. But unfortunately, a lot of kids don't know when they're 15 and 16 year olds, years old what they want to do. So, uh, but just the general idea and then talking to people, you know, I, I've, I've told our teachers, it's very important for us to communicate to our students all the opportunities that you have to offer, whether it's culinary arts or the automotive technology or it's AP, your dual enrollment or the agriculture and things like that. A lot of opportunities for students. Wilson County just started the coding program and we've got students that are certified Dell technicians now who could, if I want to go to post-secondary, whether it's college or a technical school for computers, mm -hmm. and if they already have that certification, they can be making 15 to $20 an hour in their part-time job while they're getting further training to make in the reality, the big money, you know. In closing, as you mentioned, uh, so many resources, people to reach out to. So it is, you know, you guys do doing your part, but you're asking families as well. Hey, listen, uh, get involved with this and, and, and explore to see yeah. what's out there and then come to us with questions because these programs and services are here for your children. That's right. That's right. You know, I know it's hard to get your 15 year old to pull their head out of that PS4 or the Xbox one or whatever it is uh, but you know we got to get those kids to thinking about what they want to do and and you know we instituted the major clarity platform this year some career exploration which should help students and families so we got the tools uh, we just need to get them out there and make sure we're using them all right the opportunities are limitless it's all part of EPSO week mr mayfield thank you for your well, time thank you very much